today I want us to do the first couple of minutes to do a very, uh, I want us to check in. It's day three. Is someone sinking and drowning? A number of people, you know, uh, have told us it's very intense. Others have realized it ain't working for them. Assignments and everything that just goes into making this work. How are you guys? I want to hear from a number of people today. And uh, I will start with you, Fantae, if, if you can hear me. You all? Okay. Uh, here's the thing. Here's the prompt for this check-in. How are you? Where are you stuck? And what is going really well for you? So let's start with what's going well and what's not going well. Okay. And how you are handling the whole experience and everything else. So I'm not able to see absolutely everyone on this call. I'm just going to call people randomly. Okay. So let's start with the uh, Deborah Haile. Hail. Thank you for that, Yatiana. Deborah, are you in the room? Okay. Uh, who's in the room and wants to start us off? Okay, volunteers. Preferably someone whose voice we've not heard yet. Any leaders of the future? Ah, Jacinda, you've unmuted yourself. Oh. Okay, so, uh, hi everyone, good morning. Uh, my name is Jakinda. My name is Jakinda, and uh, so far, I think so far, so good. Uh, for me personally, day one was a little bit very fast, but uh, actually, by the time day two was, was coming, I was like, okay, I need to do this and do this. So, I put my things in order, and uh, it wasn't as intense as day one was. So I had enough time to submit my work. I had enough sleep. So yeah, that that's good. So yeah, um, uh, the 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 rocket is working properly. Uh, I go to uh, ask questions and get response, and I also help people find uh, uh, stuff. So I think that with collaboration and uh, just managing your time, I think everything just works properly. Okay. Quick yeah. question before I release you, Jakinda. Do you feel like it's yeah. getting easier or you're becoming better? No, it's actually getting easier. Okay. Uh, I don't know. For me, uh, I, I, I started to understand what's really happening. Yeah. But uh, what I can say is uh, if uh, the notebooks can be a little bit more, uh, I think, uh, what, what's the word? More simplified. Does that make sense? In the sense that you see, uh, I'm learning. Uh, I've been learning data science by myself, actually. So uh, I do uh, challenges in Zindi and stuff. And uh, the starter notebooks in Zindi are a little bit uh, informative, or they give you a little bit of leeway to play with. So yeah, so something like that. So the the thing that uh, yesterday's uh, teacher, the evening teacher, did was very nice, giving us bullets, proper bullets, with of of what should happen. So I found it very easy because I, I, I was able to do one step of, uh, to the next, yeah. Thank you for that, Jakinda. That is wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Deborah, you've raised your hand. Deborah, are you there? Can you hear me? Good morning. Good morning. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, good morning. I couldn't open up my mic uh, back then when you called my name. So tell us, how are you? What's going well? What's not going? Uh, well, as everybody say, the first day was very overwhelming and it was really hard for me to keep up with the schedules because I didn't know what was up next. I didn't check the schedules and I wasn't active on the rocket chat. But after I realized, uh, you know, people have the same challenges that I have. I can just go on the rocket chat when I have problems. So I think I'm keeping up. I'm uh, trying to keep up at least and I think it's getting easier easier. It's just learning the new environments every day It's really fun and it's amazing so far 
Okay, before I release you, Deborah, what other support do you feel like you need that we can provide? Uh, I would prefer to have the resources available beforehand, you know, the resources are released, uh, you know, before the meetings or after the meetings, actually, after mm -hmm. the stand up and, but if we could have the resources beforehand, I think we could prepare and uh, see the overall uh, direction that the week is, go is going to go on. So I think it, I prefer it that way, if you can okay. provide that. Quick question. Do you have access to the Google site in the Google Classroom? Yes, I have. Okay. Please keep checking the resources because we'll keep updating. But thank you for that feedback. Okay. 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 Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Uh, who else wants to take us through? Uh, David and Nene. Is that how you pronounce your name, David? You're muted. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. That's, okay. uh, that's how you pronounce it, yeah. Okay, take us through. What is going well? What is not going? How are you? Uh, on my side, uh, I'm well. Uh, everything is going all right so far. But uh, the first day was a kind of uh, tough for me. But as we progress, I think uh, you take it. You take it. Uh, the challenge is an opportunity for you, and uh, you just do what you can. And uh, what you can, you just uh, leave it. Uh, and you maybe you can do later. But the the thing is that you just do something. Just make sure you do something on, on the challenge and uh, submit what you have done. And uh, that's actually uh, the strategy that I'm using. I'm making sure that I, I've done something and uh, made a comment on it on GitHub so that it can be tracked. And there, so the progress is really fine and I'm really learning a lot. It, uh, it's actually a very new learning for me and uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's good so far. Yeah. Okay, quick question. Have you been able to submit all of your assignments so far in the quizzes? How do you feel about the time that you're given to do your quiz and everything? Do you feel like it's yeah. enough? Do you feel like it's too little or too much? Uh, yeah, I've been able to submit all the assignments, but uh, I feel if uh, we've been added like uh, one more hour, one, one and a half hours, it would be better because I find myself submitting the hour of, uh, of the deadline. So I submit uh, at around 8.30 uh, p.m. UTC. That's why I'm trying to finish up. OK. Yeah. OK. And I think Yababel and Arun will talk about the whole timing thing and why that was uh, done that way. So uh, thank you for that feedback. Uh, again, let me see who else. Someone is saying they're struggling with GitHub. Are you guys making use of the tutoring uh, channel? Because I feel like it's a really good channel for anyone who needs help to get some help. I'm trying to look for, I see a number of people who have raised their hand and for some reason they just a bit. Okay, I will go with the, uh, okay, female this time. Uh, Kate, are you there? Then we'll go to Zalala. Mm -hmm. Yes, hi. Um... As Ivana said, the first day was pretty challenging and yeah. very overwhelming. Yeah. But I had a problem yesterday because I felt like the description for the task wasn't clear. Uh -huh. I'd personally prefer if the specific notebook or like the instructions were put on the Google Docs for week zero, because going from Google Drive then back to the to the Google Docs and then it was just a lot. There were very different, there was different information challenged it. I just got really confused. Mm -hmm. So today morning when I woke up, that's when I realized I probably did the, the wrong task. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if I understand you correctly, what you would, you would find helpful is if we put all the information in one place and it is clear and precise on what the deliverable is. Is that what you're saying, Kate? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you so much for sharing that. I appreciate that. Uh, Zalalem? Zalalem Ketahun. Yes. Yes. Can I speak? Take it where your mind is at. Uh -huh. Yes, you okay. may. Uh, yesterday's challenge was, it was good. Mm -hmm. But as compared to Mondays, it was equally difficult, but yesterday's was more confusing. Because on Mondays, there, the tasks that we are expected to do were, uh, uh, were written clearly. 
But yesterday's was a little bit more confusing because it says a workflow chart. Uh, on the Google Drive, it says another uh, Jupyter Python notebooks. Mm -hmm. uh, after a lot of discussion, we understood that we have to do the Jupyter notebooks almost uh, after the second tutorial. Mm -hmm. So there was, uh, I think, a uh, missing for uh, uh, clarity problem that I have found. The other thing is on the Google Classroom, there were uh, two assignments. I think they are for the same uh, for the CV assignment. And we were also confused on okay. the Google Classroom. Okay. So uh, we would like it if it would be clear. And okay. the third thing was the the quiz. Uh, the quiz uh, Google form was not accessible in the first 10 minutes, like uh, Monday, yesterday also. Mm. I think okay. if that could be fixed on time, that would be great help. Yeah. So and uh, as for the, okay. Go on, go on, Zalada. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as for the assignment challenge, the tasks, mm -hmm. they are good, but you know, you know there's a limitation of time. But as Dr. Abdubal mentioned yesterday, we are submitting our GitHub link before the deadline and working on it late. So mm -hmm. that's a good approach. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for that, uh, Zalalem. Okay. Uh, so can I, can I respond, I think, on this one? Because I think yeah. that, that was good. Like, yes, so yesterday we had definitely, we realized also the issue of not the clarity. I think we had made a mistake on that. There was no, it was kind of, the as we said as Arun said also on, I think on yesterday and Monday of course the definition uh, the truth is on the description what is it written in the description and we're supposed to be exactly that uh, the flowchart but when in the Google Classroom yes as you said uh, the assignment was kind of referring to actually which was supposed to be for the uh, submitting the flowchart what was in place was of course like the CV that was by mistake so I acknowledge that, but yeah, after this, it won't happen. It was just a confusion in, in, in this thing that happened from our side. So what we will do is that today, so the key will receive these three submissions. So the one submission, which is again, exactly stated as in the description, in the challenge description, there will be a report or an interim report that you will submit and the flow chart should be included in that report. And that's clearly written in the description. So you will see it. But exactly just for that reason, uh, we would basically just take only just a quiz from yesterday um, because the other submissions were not uh, clearly stated. And I just want to acknowledge that and send it to you back. Okay, thank you so much for that, Yabba Bell. Um, guys, I, I can understand and reading the chat in the chat box, it feels like some people are still uh, feeling a bit lost. And that is okay. And uh, I think the rest of the team is here to support you to catch up as far and as much as is possible. So we put up the quiz in the quiz. Uh, we usually use the quiz channel and it's also available on, uh, on, on the Google Classroom. That's where the assignments and, and, uh, and everything else is. Okay. So we will make sure that we are a bit more clear when it comes to the instructions and what is going on. And if you are lost, do not you don't have to wait and give up until the next morning. Just DM me on, on Rocket Chat. You can DM your instructors. You can DM uh, anyone on this team legitimately because if you are lost, then you're not growing and then the rest of us are also not able to support you in the ways that you need to be supported. Okay. So we have, we're going to take two final people. Then I'm going to hand over to Arun because I feel like Arun has a lot of wisdom he wants to share today, apart from the music. So, uh, Diana, do you want to go next? Yeah, uh, good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Diana. Yeah, so I was psyched uh, on the first day, but yesterday yeah. it was a bit confusing. Yeah. Like, I didn't actually understand where exactly the coding was happening. Okay. Was the coding happening on GitHub itself or Python or the notebooks? I was not sure. Yeah. Like, I was supposed to do the coding. So it was a bit confusing for me. I actually even didn't manage to do the task. Okay. I was the quiz. So 
maybe when they are they are starting the training they can actually just let us know uh-huh. where the coding is happening so that you know yeah. exactly how to navigate uh-huh. okay yeah. thank you and uh arun has mentioned that we will have a github session and uh i don't know if arun would like to say more about that just to make sure that everyone is on uh is on track and uh, everything is aligning very well. So thank you for sharing that, Diana. Uh, we need one last person. Behugu, Behugu, are you there? Gizachu? I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name properly. If I am, forgive me. Yes. If I'm, okay, go on. Mm-hmm. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Mm-hmm. My name is Behugu Gizachu. It's a bit tough to pronounce, I guess. It's an Ethiopic name, a typical one. And, okay. uh, I really enjoyed your sessions and your classes from mm-hmm. uh, China Academy. It's really awesome. I really appreciate what you guys are doing. You guys are doing like a machine. You're doing mm-hmm. day and night. Well, the trainings are great. The trainings are very great and they are specific and they are like important to us. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that on the yesterday's class, uh, it was a bit tough for me, uh, not because the session was actually difficult, because I wasn't able to understand what uh, we exactly were supposed to do. So the other thing uh, is that the time limit for the tutorial sessions you gave is uh, one hour. And uh, I, I have seen that at the end of this uh, time, uh, the tutors rush to finish uh, their uh, session, you know. Uh, so we kind of miss uh, some important parts of the class at, at, at around the end of the class. I hope you understand me. So either, um, I don't know how they can uh, overcome this, but I suggest either they um, minimize or chunk their uh, courses into minutes or else they might increase their session time. Or, for example, they might uh, make their training for an hour and a half minutes, or I don't know how, but I wish they could cover from the end to the start in a very organized and in a very continuous way. Uh, I mean, when it t- the time is up and they have like two or three topics to finish yet. So that's what I wanted to mention. Thanks a lot. And I'm very grateful to be part of this class. Okay. Thank you for that, uh, Behigo. Uh, written down. We'll see how to go around that, okay? Thank you. Uh, uh, Tadese, do you want to finish up for us? Uh, hello? Yes. Go on. Okay. Uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Uh, especially, I like uh, the way Kindi is uh, presenting, yeah? And uh, I like your facial expression, guys the way you are treating us for for most i am very happy uh, that the way of you are assessing our knowledge and the challenge challenging us in doing something but uh, uh, the only problem i i am facing is i i don't know what about the others uh, i am facing the due date the deadline issues because uh, uh, I remember that uh, on one movie, on Game of Thrones movie, Sansa said, uh, I am a slow learner. That is true, but I, I learned, she said. So <laughs> this is for me also. So thank you for challenging us, guys. Uh, just I am uh, posting my uh, work uh, honestly after uh, finishing my work. The work you have given us uh, on the yesterday is very nice. Uh, it is very interesting. It, it seems industry, yeah, the way you teaching. Uh, I have uh, learned the Python issues and another uh, coding issues, but uh, I haven't uh, approached those methodologies in this way. Uh, I, I am thinking just uh, as I am in industry, yeah, so. I am very uh, uh, thank you for doing uh, to us. Uh, even though if we fail, it is no matter. Uh, I am happy with this uh, season. And uh, 
I, I need to upgrade myself for the feature also. And I will proceed till, till uh, the Friday, yeah? So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that passionate uh, feedback, Tadessa. I really appreciate it. Nat Neil, she say, would you want to say something? Nat Neil? Oh, okay. Thank you very, very much for, yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hello? Yes. Go on. Okay, I think my network is a little bit uh, bad and slow, but I'll get to my point. Uh, as everybody said, uh, the course you are giving us, the time you're spending, the resources and everything is very great, and I enjoyed it. But there are a couple of things I wish there could be included. Uh, since everybody is different, uh, each one of us have a different learning mechanisms. Some of us are visual, some of us want to read, and so on. So uh, it will be very helpful if you include a YouTube links or a blogs we can refer to after the presentation session to concrete our knowledge and to ease our searching for resources. Because uh, I don't know about uh, uh, the others, but me, myself, I find myself Googling a lot, uh, going through YouTube and everything. and. Uh, it takes a lot of time. It's a good practice, but it will be helpful uh, if you could provide a good links and resources after the presentation session. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So if I understand you correctly, that now you're saying that it will be very helpful if you provided additional learning resources, like other YouTube links and other blogs that will help you learn on your own time in some other ways. Is that what you're saying? Yes, you're right. Now? That's it? Okay. So, yeah, that's uh, it. Okay, good. So, thank you for letting us know that. It's written. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I can see some of the comments in the chat box, and uh, Arun is going to address them uh, towards the end. Is there someone else who feels like there's something that we've not addressed yet, and they'd like to tell us what's up? Just another check-in. Tell us, how are you? Is there something else you need support with that we can help you with? Okay. Maybe, maybe I can ask a separate question. <clears throat> so for, first, everyone, thanks for your feedback. Um, we've so it's it's good to have the feedback. Yevabel and I are using the same. Uh, somehow we've ended up with the same name on the account. So many of the comments that the written comments are actually coming from Yevabel, not from me. Um, but thank you for the, the feedback. I think that's it's useful to know. Um, I have one or two points to make, but I just wanted to ask, there's some people, some of your colleagues who are no longer here with us. Um, why is that? What happened? Did we, was it too much? So if anyone wants to let us know, I'm sure you have some colleagues who started and aren't here today. So, um, whew, bit, biz, I'm going to try and say the name properly. Um, Beza Witalem Yimer. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Can morning. you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you well. The name is Bezi. You can call me Babe. Bezi. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> from, from my perspective, um, yesterday and um, uh, the Monday challenge was a big, um, a big overwhelming for everyone, I think. And yesterday, since everyone uh, from the classmates discussed it, the problems and the overloading and how to figure out everything, that leads everyone almost, I almost give up uh, on, the, on the projects. But um, I came back because I know why I'm striving for this 10, 10, 10 Academy because uh, it's challenging, but I'm learning ev uh, every day, you know, making a progress in two days. So even though uh, I won't make it, I was thinking like, if I quit now, I won't know uh, what will be my results, you know? And uh, also, the, also when I do the projects every time, uh, 
the challenge will make me motivate, but it, it's uh, the deadlines and everything will uh, will make people uh, to quit. I think that's why most of the people are are not coming anymore. But I will advise everyone to stay and to try and work hard and see how it goes, rather than quitting. Th thank, thank you, you. thank you, Beza. Any others who want to make uh, comments? We have Dawit. Hello, good morning uh, and good evening, according to your uh, time. Uh, thank you for uh, this opportunity for giving us uh, passing in this challenging weeks. Uh, it is a good experience for all of us. Uh, actually, as most of uh, uh, my classmates raised, uh, most of us uh, were uh, to lose hope or to give up uh, because of the pressures and the just unusual, just unusual schedules, busy schedule. But uh, for me, the, the most important uh, thing was what uh, Dr. Abdaval commented yesterday, uh, because he uh, told us not to give up, rather uh, trying our progressing uh, till the last day, till the, uh, uh, Friday. And uh, we are following uh, the same way, uh, uh, rather than uh, give up and quit from the program. Uh, it is uh, better if we uh, improve ourselves from day to day and submit our work uh, till the last day. Of course, uh, we may not uh, be in the schedule uh, uh, that is posted, uh, but uh, for me, uh, the important thing is what is uh, uh, our progress from uh, day one to the end. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Michael? Yeah, hello. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Um, uh, well, I think by now uh, we are all aware this is so hectic and so draining. Um, I think most of my colleagues and everyone who, who has been part of the program now is aware of that but what i would say is most of the time uh, it's the time schedule and then um the ability to um follow up with the tutorials and then switch from the tutorials which is then from the tutorials right into the daily tasks but um from my end the the challenges had had to do with them um, squeezing that much time and then um getting enough practice so that you'll be able to just work on um, the data that you've been given. Uh, I think outside that, uh, the things are going a, a bit okay. I wouldn't say very excellent, but you're still managing. And I hope this challenges it, it cuts across and my, my other colleagues are doing well. The other thing is the ability to also squeeze time and then get involved in community activities. Probably you would want to do more in the community, but you look at it and you just um, switching between community, uh, getting the tax done, Googling and all that kind of is also another challenge on its own. So we you know it's 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 a good experience and it just makes makes me feel the stress and then the that um, pressure which comes up, which you would experience in the industry when you have a lot of tax um, uh, scheduled up for you to do. Thank you. Okay, um, I think the last person with their hand raised is um, <clears throat> Marzouk Mora Lafia. Hello everyone, can you Hello. hear me? Yeah, we can hear you well. I excuse my English, I'm not, I'm not speaking very well English. But for me, for example, the first day was very challenging. I mean, everyone was used to code. I mean, I think everyone here was used to code, but it's not. We are we are not all used to go on GitHub and do the other things. So the first day was very very challenging for me. 
But for the second day for yesterday, we came with a notebook thing, and here it was much easier. At the task, the task was the task were not very very difficult, but we were over helmet, if I can say it. Many information were coming from everywhere. I think rocket chat, a tutoring, a Google Google Classroom. We were getting very, very much information. So we have to deal with all it. But we are getting again. Um, I, I think the best thing to do is to keep going, to keep going. And we by by to move today, for example, is is it is getting much easier for me. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. So I just want to say two words, and I'll hand over to Eva about <clears throat> we. So a we're we've we're building a system which we're trying to make us into a scalable system, and so part of that is that um, we're also learning. So for some of the improvements that we can make, we will continue to make those improvements. The one message I would ask, um, I would pass on to you and to each of ask you to pass on to those who have applied and who are no longer here. We're less interested in for this week. We're more interested in people who show up consistently and submit and learn and if if you look carefully at the assi assignments there's a big gap between the minimum required and what would be nice to have and so when faced with this mountain if those who have chosen not to show up um, that makes it hard for us to invest the 12 weeks into really teaching people what they need to be industry ready so there is a very very steep learning curve but i would encourage each of you um, you're still here which is great um, submit something, learn, ask, build a community, ask other people around you, and you'll be surprised, as Yabba Bell said, how far you can get. Um, but we really are looking, when we, in my first slides that I had presented, we're looking for, the first thing is the work ethic. After that comes um, speed of learning, and after that comes contribution to the rest of the community. So it's great um, that you guys are still here, you're learning, there, it's definitely difficult. The pace will, we will start to go more in depth uh, once we've made our final selection. But we've purposely set the bar very high in a way, but the bar is really just high looking for people who are motivated and hungry. And um, like all of you are still here, no matter what happens, you're still gonna show up. So I'd say congratulations or kudos to all of you. Um, we're going to be addressing the challenges or Yav is gonna mention that in just a moment. But uh, do not give up because the qualities that you're displaying are from our assessment and from our experience and our discussions with employers around the world. These are the qualities that are um, super essential when faced with a task, even if it seems really hard, what's most unacceptable is just to say, I don't know what to do, I'm not gonna do anything. You must do something and all of you have shown that. Continue to do that and work together and you'll be surprised at how far you can get um, and use the tutoring team and your colleagues um, to keep making progress. So I'll hand over to Eva Bell. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, um, everyone. Actually, the feedbacks were very useful um, in understanding. And I think as, as day one we were speaking again, we know that. We actually hoped that we would show you in one week what would look like the kind of things you would do, right, in industry. Um, and that means it is not we are expecting that you do it now as well. It's like, then what is the point of like then training you? But this is, this is uh, the first week where we have only because of our limitations, limitations in budget, limitations in human resource, we have only 50 places. And for that, we needed just to, to show you everything. Basically, just we are walking you through um the, the type of things that you would do in industry so that doesn't mean that you are ready to do the industry right now but we are showing you through this kind of exposure we're exposing you and we are asking you like okay these are things how it's done we're giving you as a task things that would uh, yesterday also i said it some of the things would take semesters like in a normal environment to learn and we are asking you in one day you know we know that that that, that is just too much you know, 
there's no way you'll just come from a different experience and come like in one day, learn GitHub, be good at GitHub, and then the next day you just go and, and, and you know solve this modeling and the next day just design a system, an ML of system that basically just has from data engineering to kind of deployment and the next day then you just then build the dashboard and then you kind of submit, you know, serve your model and then kind of, and then the next day you monitor that thing and if that can be done, you know, that, that really, that's like, it's basically just like a lot of a lot of a lot of experience it, it would take and we hope even by the end when we after 12 weeks after 12 weeks even after training you're not going to master each of them you would probably become strong in one of them more and have a general understanding and kind of competency in the others and then you become in a team in a data science team and then you become basically you become valid right so that is still the case. Even, even after 12 weeks of training, you will still just kind of know one thing or two things very strongly, the others slightly and stuff, and then you will be job ready. And still job ready at a junior level, right? That's our hope. So what that really means is that we are not expecting in one day for you to be job ready in, in the things that we give you. And you shouldn't assume that. But what are we asking? We are asking for you just to persist. Because at the job environment, things can get tougher. It's like you will be exposed to a very similar thing, like a company wants like a certain thing quickly, and you need to deliver it, even if it's at, at a lower quality. It's a quality that's so low, or even if it just means... So and the one way also to deliver is that to communicate it back and say like, okay, you ask me this, here it is, where I, where I am so far, that's my status, but basically just know that I haven't done anything, kind of that is basically forking just the fork would have allowed you to say that okay you know i am still learning but i got this far i because it was easy to just create a github okay created already github and you ask me to fork it was there's a button i could do that if i can't do that then i am really not serious right so that's that's it it's showing we wanted to know your seriousness we wanted to know you know how much um you would kind of follow some of these guidelines because job environment is slightly like that. It's like we have to, in a job, you have to be a team, you have to work together, you have to be coherent to actually for, for the team to progress. So that's what we are um, uh, kind of asking you. And really tell your friends, encourage them. It's really like because you encourage them now, they will encourage you another, next time, right? So really encourage them this spirit, like, that what really is requested is just, you know, it's uh, showing, like it's kind of like a tour of what is being like a job ready and how, you know, how in machine learning engineering tasks, you know, some of the things that end-to-end that -end projects would be done. So, yeah, if you are good already in, in GitHub, but you're not good at kind of like designing a schematic, a workflow, then it's fine. You just try it. It's like, you know, you kind of look around and you get something, you do it, and that's fine. If you are like maybe good at kind of modeling and data analysis, but not yet kind of good on GitHub, it's fine, but you tried, right? So that is a spirit. Hope you got that spirit. And if you have any doubt, reach out to us. And we definitely are interested that you stay. We're definitely interested in you, whether you make it you know, in that 50 spots that is just because of the conditions we have, we have only a limited number, but even when we design it, we design it with a spirit that even after one week, even if you stay with one, one week with us, you spend your time, you must get value. That value means like within one week you learn enough to actually know how to learn. Like, you know, which way to, to improve yourself so that, you know, you can get better. And we have interest that you get better because that's what we really are proud of is that our pride is like making people, they spend time, they trust us and they come and spend time and we give them something valuable that will just, they will take it for the rest of their life, you know? So we are very much interested in that investment. So this is the win-win spirit that we have that every time you spend any hour, any time that you spend trusting us to learn something, it should be valuable and it should help you as quick as possible and it should have impact in your life. So that's, that's why we don't just give you assignment. Every assignment we, we, we give you, we really deliver it. We think, we worry about it, we speak to other people in the industry, 
So we just don't give you like one, okay, do that for, for evaluation. Trust on that. Like it really, because of our interest. So I hope that it is clear. And if it's not clear, just reach out to us. Um, so yeah, that's just uh, from my side. Um, so hopefully you will just get back with the spirit, try to do all the stuff. So good luck. maybe a last point. I think there's been some questions about submissions into Google Classroom and stuff. Please, um, please do use the IT support channel for that. Um, I think that, I don't know if there's anything to say about today's assignment, Yavigo. Do we want to talk about the, the task description? Sorry? The task description for today's assignment? Yeah. So, um, I'll, I'll present my window so that it is clear. We should have done that also yesterday, but we will do it after this just to, for, to make it clear, right? So the task, um, so we, the first thing I would look is, of course, the, the kind of what is in the deliverables. So yesterday, the deliverable was supposed to be just this part, right, the workflow plan. Unfortunately, there was from our side a confusion. Therefore, we ask you just we're we're gonna go only just because the the tasks that were submitted, at least I have checked most of them. That most of them aren't uh, consistent. So what we are asking is that so today these are the the, um, the deliveries. So that means a brief description of uh, the codes, the new parts that you modified, the GitHub link. Uh, and then an interim report that describes your kind of what you plan to do. So it's kind of like right now you haven't finished, but what you already finished, what you did, and then what you're going to do. So with that, to make it very simple, so this is what you're going to see. For example, for the quiz, you will see a description. So this is going to be what you will see when you in a Google Classroom. So it's basically the quiz, but of course, takes uh, touch these three parts. Uh, as it is described in the description. And then another one is this uh, day three, um, so the interim report. So in the interim report, we ask you like to describe, to basically to start preparing, writing out your activities, what you have done. We want you to follow, like to start really putting down, like kind of noting down all the things you have seen in a structured way, such that you will uh, blog them at the end after you finish on Friday, you will just submit them to a Medium article, which which is kind of because it's a guided one, it's really useful for many people. So it is important that you know you write it like with the kind of that spirit. So the first thing is of course the summary of that. So you should write one or two paragraph summarizing basically key questions. So what you want to find in this case, even if of course the entire pipeline you are setting up you are setting up an entire pipeline for analyzing the Twitter data. So of course, what you want to find is that not just only for this data, but in general, you want to, you want to set up, uh, you want to analyze from Twitter for a certain topic. And in this case, it's particular, uh, we are asking you, it is topic modeling and sentiment analysis of tweets of different topics. So that's the kind of what you want to find, right? So you want to set up a system uh, uh, machine learning or machine learning environment, uh, machine learning system that you that will analyze or that you can easily analyze Twitter data and provide uh, the insights that you get in, in a dashboard. So that's the kind of the synthesis or the main idea of the whole project and the approach you employ to find it. So which means basically, you know, what the, basically the entire task pipeline we gave you right from day one how you set up, how you thought about it, and also how in general tweets, like you don't have to do too much, but it's kind of like how in general you would be uh, downloading data from Twitter and stuff so based on the presentation that Abu Bakr gave, um, and then kind of describing, yeah, like we are setting up like a certain uh, pre-processing module or component, and we are also setting up like the modeling module and then the deployment module and the monitoring module. So it's kind of describing the approach. Um, and then what you find, so because you probably analyzed the data already a little bit, the Twitter data, so you kind of show some plots and stuff. So that's, but this is just the summary of that. And then in the introduction, 
the importance of you kind of think about because you are writing a blog so you should start think about like you know, why do you analyze Twitter data? You know, what are they for? So you kind of write some introduction about that. You can look around in a reference, you know, in the, in the wave as well. Also, we gave you some uh, references in the description. And then also the importance of doing it with an MLOps pipeline instead of just writing, you know, just doing it only with one um, Jupyter notebook, right? So like, why do you have to build all this, th these things? So think about that around. And then data, so this is just the sections, right? So this is a summary, the abstract is a summary. Introduction is just that kind of introducing it. Basically, usually introduction, we use it to give past work from other people as well as also motivating people why we are doing that. That's the kind of, uh, and then the data is that how the data is collected because you didn't collect this data yourself, just be minimal. It's like the data is collected from Twitter on a certain keywords. You know, just um, and then key information about the data that comes from you, which means because you have an you have put it in a um, in a data frame, so you can count how many rows there are, how many tweet lines, um, and the kind of like what what are the kind of keywords that are that, that are there. So this is just about the data, and then the method. Now here is the the place where you place your MLOB system, the one you designed, basically the flowchart that you are gonna set up like um so you should put there because it was supposed to be yesterday but yesterday you didn't have a chance to put it so here is your chance you put it there um and then how you implement the different components so or how you plan to implement them and the implementation detail for example even if you haven't done it it's like that the code that you you are building now has unit testing and it has some kind of uh, CI CD or continuous integration using Travis, and it will also have a dashboard using Streamlit, right? So you kind of describe it. So even if it's like, let's say, like, you know, you, you really are kind of unaware, don't sweat on it. At least write a cup, you know, one paragraph on each of them. That's it. It's like, it's about just doing it, and then you will improve it, right? And then the result and discussion part, which is the final part, which you basically um, say, what has been already implemented and what has been what is remaining uh, and the kind of like the insights you extracted you say like oh like from the tweet so far we think like there are a number of users who are talking about this if you have done if you've not you just say like okay we are still uh, uh, running the analysis so uh, no results yet but at least just provide something like that and then what you plan to do the rest of the week in this case just it's preparing you it's kind of helps you to plan and then the challenge you faced, um, for example, all Twitter data is not clean or this, or setting up a system when you have not the cloud, you computing, you could just say that. So read this medium guide because then it, it also helps you how to prepare it, your report into that format such that by the end on Saturday, you will just submit it, right? So that you will have one blog at least in your portfolio. So maybe just, you know, it's very, I really strongly recommend just to take into account what are necessary things to submit or a blog should have um, for medium or towards data science, okay? So hopefully that's clear. And then, and also this is a second submission, that's just a draft, like a PDF that you will submit. And then the third one, of course, is just that uh, yesterday also, we didn't have enough, um, like the place where you put your Jupyter notebook. So you push your Jupyter notebook into GitHub, and then you basically submit that link, the, you know, where the, the link to your Jupyter notebook, you will submit it here. And again, what that Jupyter notebook should contain is, it's basically just the one from yesterday, which is task three, data science level one uh, part, which was that task. It's basically your exploration of the data. And it should have the plots visible and stuff such that when we see your notebook, we will know what you managed to do. If you have error, don't worry, because we expect that some things you might not have fixed it, they might not have error. So just whatever you manage to do, okay? So that is um, like the day's resubmission. So I hope this is, we hope this is very clear. If not, ask us again, okay? So, um, if there is anything and if there are so many people confused, we can ask like, we can have just a quick call and we'll just chat about. But I hope this provides you clearly 
and the descriptions in the Google Classroom uh, are easy now that you will know what, what to submit and the description and the challenge is exactly your, you know, uh, we are following that. So, yeah, I think hopefully that's clear. Okay. Thank you so much for that, Yababel. Uh, before we close out, um, before we close out, there's one thing, apologies, there's one thing uh, I'd like us to know. We will be asking you very kindly to please submit um, one of your graduation documents just so that we are able to verify your graduation year. So you will do this in the Google Classroom. There's a new assignment there and you're going to just submit uh, the documents and you can submit them anytime from today to tomorrow for UTC. So if you have any questions, please email Yati or chat Arab on, uh, on Rocket Chat and uh, any questions or concerns that arise will be more than happy to help you to help you sort them out. Yes. So uh, I, th I think there's still a couple of raised hands, Cindy. Oh, let's see. Open queue. Okay. Uh, how to submit yesterday's challenge from the Google Collab? Um, I think yeah, we best so, may have yeah, questions yeah. of it. Yeah. If uh, just so because we, today we gave you those basically just the report will contain what is necessary from yesterday. So don't think of, uh, so the. Basically, if you submit completely the one from today, it includes the one from yesterday. So don't worry about yesterday. So it's just that we gave you now on day three submission uh, topics. There are three. One is quiz, one is report to submit report, and the other one is GitHub link. So the GitHub link for your Jupyter notebook. So these are the only thing that you need to submit today. Okay? Don't worry about the, the one from yesterday because that's incorporated. Okay, uh, thank you for that clarification, Yababel. From those who raised their hands, uh, I think we've had from all of you. Is it something? Is it that you didn't put down your hands, or do you have something else to to add? Let's go with Rachel. Rachel, are you here? Rachel. Okay, thank you. Oh yes, that. Cindy. Cindy, yes, I can talk now. Okay, please. Um, yeah, uh, I had the question, but uh, Aluna tried to answer it. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for that, Rachel. Uh, Kate Zellalem and uh, Michael. And Diana said you say there'll be a GitHub session. Uh, we will communicate with you on when the GitHub session will be. Yes, promise. I'm hoping that by now you will you're all in all the channels that are important for you to be in if you don't have six channels guys there's one you're missing okay if you have more than that then uh there's a problem also so kate and zelalem i can see your hands are still up so is that because you have something else to add yes okay. um okay i wanted to confirm what data we were using are we using um the clean fintech data csv or the data that we cleaned um as the day one task the cleaned tweet tweets data so can you repeat again kate as i didn't hear okay i wanted to confirm what data we're using to do task two onwards is it the cleaned um fintech data or the one we cleaned on day one. Yes, you can use the one which you cleaned at day one. The task is extended from that one. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Kate. Uh, Zelalem? Okay, uh, just a quick question. Uh, on yesterday's uh, task two, it says uh, link uh, your GitHub link, paste your GitHub link. Mm -hmm. to the uh, uh, Jupyter Notebook. And if we mm -hmm. submitted the whole repository, the whole repository link, not specific to the uh, GitHub uh, Jupyter link, is it fine or should we unsubmit and again uh, correct it to the exact Jupyter Notebook link? Thank you. Uh, as, as I said, I think it's okay to know, like 
from yesterday, like because, but it is good if you could always just submit directly to the one that you want us to see, right? The problem is that because you have many branches and you we don't know which which in which branch that you added the Jupyter notebooks. If you just submit only just the general repository, it might not be kind of we might there's we will check, but it, there will there is a chance that we might miss it. So it's always good if you could just submit the part that you want us to see, right? So okay. that's why we specifically say GitHub link to the Jupyter notebook just to make that one easy. Okay, will there be no problem with the deadline? Because it has no, as I said, as I said, don't worry about yesterday because okay. we are like we are because today we ask you the same thing on day three submission. So submit it today. So okay. there is on on the day three there is submission Jupyter like GitHub link to your Jupyter notebook today. So submit it there. Because that's what because yesterday there was a confusion and people didn't didn't submit that, so we wanted to give that same chance today. So don't worry about yesterday; just submit the um, the link today in the today's uh, submission link. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for that, Yaba Bell and uh, Zelalem. So uh, we have around that twenty-eight minutes before the first tutorial today. So all those final touches that you feel like you need to do if you need to catch up with uh, any of your colleagues to help you out in one way or another where you're struggling you have around 28 minutes to do that then you'll join the first tutorial this morning yes okay um, bye everyone guess we'll see you again bye everyone <laughs>